understand I talk about porn probably more than any man talks about anything. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Game Over Greggy Show. <laughs> Another walking intro from <laughs> us. I'm Greg Miller. This is the producer slash loser Nick Scarpino. Uh, it's been a long week already, Greg. It's I know, Tuesday. right? It's Tuesday. Yeah. Last week was the worst because it was four days. And I remember, man, let's go, this week's going to go so fast. And I woke up on Thursday and I go, how the fuck is it not Friday? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, what is happening? I was just getting like this again. Um. Yeah, it's been... Uh, I'm losing time here. I'm losing time. Yeah. We woke up today and everyone was like, happy birthday. And I was like, oh, it's our birthday. It's a... You said happy birthday. And I was like, is it my fucking birthday? No. <laughs> is, it, is it your birthday today? No, no, it's no, not. No. My it's kind of funny's birthday. January. We're recording this on it's September 15th. It's one of kind of funny's birthdays. Right. It's, the, it's the refounding, the See, rebranding. I like this. You know when you start dating a girl and it's like, then it's like, okay, which anniversary are we right. going to do? Yeah, yeah. Right. And then she expects you to buy her stuff on the day you met. On the first time you had a date, on the first time you had sex, the bang on the when you decide you're officially boyfriend and girl, you're going steady. Right. I would say. actually <laughs> celebrate the first time I had sex with a girl. Yeah. I would celebrate that. That's but good. we have, so we haven't clarified, of course. Kind of funny, founded, it rebranded on September 15th, 15. 2014. Yes. However, our birthday, honestly, is January, January 5th, 5th when we went out into the world on our own, to mm-hmm. chart our own fortune. Yes. Over here at the Pier 1, Tim Getty. Hello, guys. Hey, how are you? Good. Your breath's still fresh? It was really uh, fresh probably earlier Probably not today. at this point. Okay. My breath's only fresh for about two minutes, approximately. Colin Moriarty is dead, so mm-hmm. standing in for him, Danny Shepard. Hello. Thank you. Danny, Thank where you. would folks know you from? Uh, you may know me from my channel, Ismahawk, and also I also play Nightwing in uh, our YouTube fan series, Nightwing the Series. That's which... an undersell, though. It's an undersell? It's a oh, YouTube should. fan series, Nightwing the Series. I... It's like... It's not just a fan. It's a legit thing. Oh. It's fucking cool. Thanks, dude. It's very it's legit. Just, oh, <laughs> I, I played Captain America in a, in a YouTube fan video called Avengers Boy Band, but there's a big difference there. <laughs> yeah. That doesn't mean shit. This was like a legit thing that you kickstarted. It made a shit ton of money. You got to make it. It came out. It's awesome. How many views does it have? Uh, well, the first episode has a uh, about two point seven million. Fuck you. The whole series has uh, <laughs> around eight million, rough, roughly, I think. And it's Thank out. You. That Actually, means you can go watch it now. This isn't right one now. of those, I'm making a Nightwing thing. You'll Kevin's see Kevin's putting a link to it on the screen right now. He's actually, wait, he's going to put a clip in right here. <laughs> Wasn't that clip awesome? Wow, wow. Yeah, that, that clip was clip. amazing. Thanks, Kevin. What, did, was it this Deathstroke one? Or was it this one of <laughs> Danny talking to Barbara Gordon? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Any of those clips would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's it's funny is uh, I, I appreciate all the hype you guys always give me, but it, it's it's actually because of you guys that no. it got, yeah yeah yeah. When you invited me to Up at Noon, because uh, Greg uh, invited me to be on Up at Noon, and uh, after that, after we did that interview, like my fan base it exponentially grew, and uh, and I think we got like thirty thousand subscribers just Damn. that week. That's so, awesome. Yeah, you were like, go subscribe to Danny Shepard, and you didn't think people actually did it. Do it. They listened to yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> now, here's how I know you're lying, because nothing good came from Up and Dude. Oh! Just period. No, hey, I'm man. joking. I'm joking. We're, <laughs> that was cool. I mean, I think uh, you got in contact with Greg first, right? Yeah, you and ran then... up to me. You ran up to me. I'll never forget this, because we're at VidCon, and I'm walking around VidCon. I think it was Steimer and I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. ran up, and you were in a Nightwing shirt, your yeah. Nightwing logo yeah, shirt. Yeah. I think I might have been in it. Was I in a Batman shirt, too, of something, maybe? I forget. There I was... think you were wearing a Batman Beyond shirt. There we go. And you ran yeah. up, and you're like, oh, my God, Greg Miller is so cool to me. You da 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 My name's Danny. These these guys behind exactly me, we're excited. working on this. He was super excited. He was yeah. super excited. And we're working on this nightly thing. Let me show it. And I'm like, oh, do you have it? Can I see it? You're like, you want to see it? No problem. And he brought out his phone <laughs> and showed it. And we are in the blazing hot Anaheim sun. And the screen just looks pitch black. And I just looked at him like, yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> 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 see, totally. What's funny is the next day, we had the exact same experience, except we were in VidCon. And Danny comes up to me and Nick. That wasn't yeah. the same day. That, the, was, that, that wasn't that the next day. That was the same day. Uh, well, the same, that was roughly two hours after I had seen So this Greg. motherfucker <laughs> hopped up on Mountain Dew. He's just so excited. He sees me and Nick. He runs up to us and starts talking. And the funniest thing was me and Nick, you know, Greg gets freaking people talking to him all the time. Back then, this was you were one of the first people to, like, recognize me and Nick and, like, really, like, stop That's us true. and talk to us and yeah, yeah, yeah. so we're like holy shit this is crazy you were freaking out about us which is comical yeah dude i'm legitimately a fan which of is what you guys so do so funny but the best part was you were like oh yeah i'm doing this nightwing thing you were just like because you, you would just talk to greg about it oh, yeah. so you already had the spiel in your head like i'm doing this i'm doing this i'm doing this and me and nick are just like holy shit this like, guy is just fanboying out yeah. way too hard but right what now. was really funny <laughs> was that then you're like oh yeah l- let me show you let me show you the trailer and like that's usually the telltale sign where we're just like 
oh, like I don't, I don't want to have to fucking watch this thing. I don't want to have to be mean to you. Or because like, yeah, what if you don't you. like it? What if you don't like well, it? That's always the concern. Real talk. This sounds fucked up, but chances are I'm not gonna like it. Like chances <laughs> are it's not gonna be good. Well, no, okay, it's not. It's it's one of those things where you're not gonna be impressed by it, right? Like I always re- appreciate people's efforts, no matter what. No, for sure. But there's, but there's a difference between appreciating yeah, but there's efforts. You showed. Enjoyed. I was like, holy shit, this looks really fucking well, good. That the choreography the is actually good. Uh, like maybe 15 cool. seconds right. into it, be a dick, like look at each other, like. But it was, was one like, of those moments that we were blown yeah. away. Yeah. I remember getting because back to my hotel room good. and like finally, I was like, oh yeah, that Nightwing thing. I looked at it, I was like, holy fuck, this looks really good. And I like <laughs> Thanks, took your man. card out and I was like, hey, do you want to do up at noon? Yeah, yeah. I think there was. I mean, what I what I what I'm impressed with with your work is that you sort of know your and this is going to sound initially negative. But follow me on this one. You all sort right, of right. know your your limitations at, mm-hmm. with what you have, right? And yeah. you push that a little bit, but you're really good at working with that. Yeah. And I feel like that's where a lot of um, and sorry for the the term fan films come through. I mean. But yeah, but but you know, you're a lot of a lot of films try to bite off a little too much more than they can chew, yeah. and they end up falling really really short. I think you guys are really good at knowing what you're good at, yeah, and playing to your strengths, yeah, and then kind of not trying to do um, crazy over the top sequences where you know you're like one shot looks great and the rest of it looks like shit. Yeah, like you know? we try to fight on top of a dam and the whole thing is in CG and like <laughs> yeah. the whole thing's green screen and we're just fighting on top of a dam as dam as the water's falling. That was originally in the script. We took it out. Was it really? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm a Bloodhaven dam. <laughs> yeah. But it I was, feel like I mean again, I can't I can't, everyone goes through that process, right? We oh, yeah. do, we used to, we've anytime we do anything creative, it always starts like Let's let's capture yeah. the world, and we cut down to like just a little tiny, yeah. little, little bit more manageable. Um, uh, yeah, absolutely. Thing, but but yeah, I mean, it's really cool. And obviously, you guys are you're really good at the physicality of it. You're really good at the combat of it, and so you play to those strengths, which is cool. We had a really awesome stunt team. I can't take really any credit for that. Uh, they taught us some really cool choreography, and uh, and uh, I had a cool stunt double who was doing like a lot of the flips and stuff. Uh, so got to give him credit. For that, but yeah, it was. No, uh, we he had, gets, we he had gets a... no credit for that. That's all you. That was you flipping. Yeah, that was that was, that was me doing all the flipping. I did a, I did like ninety nine percent of the stick stuff though. That's uh, a lot of the uh, screamer work. <laughs> uh, but uh, um... Kevin, we uh, we decided no one can see Kevin, of course, because he's our like live to studio camera. audience. <laughs> who laughed at stick stuff. That's what got him. Well, it's like <laughs> dick stuff. No, that's not what it is. I went so, sexual I, with it. I, I did ninety nine percent of the stick stuff too. The, <laughs> but that's just me. I do 100% of my own stuff. What work. I used to always say, why I used to do hands. my Mario impression in high school, would be, Wahoo, it's me, Mario. I climb in your bed. I fiddle with your joystick. Oh my God. Because, <laughs> like, remember, of course, the N64 controller had that one weird joystick. <laughs> remember, of course. <laughs> now you understand the how context could one, how could one of forget? Mario touching your dick at hey, night. I'd let him touch my dick. No, He's would. famous. <laughs> He's famous. That's it. That's that's it. Danny's yeah, famous. All famous. That's all it takes. Danny touched my dick You earlier. guys are way more famous than me. We don't have 8 million views, though. On anything. Yeah, we don't have any views. <laughs> I think. Just to put it right I think. There. I mean, I guess you could say the game over Greggy show has eight million views. Yeah, no, it's got like that's yeah, it's counting. It's that's counting. a cumulative eight eight million. Yeah, sure, but yours is something that like you took creative energy. <laughs> Ours is <laughs> for the first fifty thousand views. Was everybody drunk? Yeah, <laughs> and also, right on. To, no, not to downplay our efforts, but I I no, think you all, guys man. are forgetting. Uh, our best piece of content, which is the Fast and the Furious live stream right. that Greg did like eight right. years ago. That has ago, a million views on its own. Right. Yeah. 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 And so many bad comments on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just so guys. funny this to really think Fast about this, that that is the source of this this whole channel because the Fast and Furious really has influenced everything. Oh, Jesus. That God. The world has ever done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Game Over Greggy show each and every week for sometimes five best friends gather on this table, each bringing a random topic of discussion for your amusement. If you like that, head over to patreon.com slash kindoffunny. Toss us a few bucks and get every episode early. If you have no bucks to toss, no big deal. Go to youtube.com slash kindoffunny where we break it up topic by topic, day by day, until we post the entire show as a video and MP3 on the following Friday. Danny, you're a fan. You're I'm a, a friend. I'm a fan you know and a that. friend. You know that. We bonded at Apache's a long time ago. We did. You didn't tell me ahead of time that you had some problem with the, the dairy, so mm-hmm, you took yeah. all these pills so you didn't die eating this pizza. That's you right. could have just told me, don't eat the pizza. <laughs> Pizza's I can eat, not a good thing to eat for I me. can eat the pizza. Uh, I just uh, I have to eat a pill first. So, you know, it doesn't ruin my day and the days of others. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, you get to go first with the topic, of course. So what's your topic? Awesome. My topic is, uh, you know... Uh, I've been doing a lot of like reflecting lately, especially uh, as our channel grows and as our our uh, our show grows and and our fan base grows and uh, and uh, I've been thinking a lot like 
the internet has completely changed the game for people like me oh, and geez. for people like you guys. Yeah. We've been able to achieve our dreams and, and make our dreams come true and accomplish like uh, amazing things. And, and not just us, but like anybody on YouTube or uh, like like people like, uh, oops, uh, people like uh, Freddie Wong, Quarter Digital, yeah. uh, all doing these like, such amazing, amazing things. And, uh, and the internet has completely, you know, changed our lives. And I just wanted to see how that affected you guys in terms of like making your dreams come true and like following your passion. Um, yeah. I mean, it's interesting because like you go back even 10 years ago and there were, we talk a little bit about uh, like gatekeepers, right? There are a lot of gatekeepers yeah. to your success, yeah. right? If you wanted to do something like what we're doing right now, um, well, I guess you could do a podcast 10 years ago, but you know, if you not wanted like to do, this. if you wanted to put out video, it would have cost you a lot more money to do that and you would not have made your money back on that. Yeah. Um, so the tools that are out there right now, I think the number one thing for me that it's taught me is that it, there's no excuses anymore. Um, not that I ever believed there ever there was, but like especially working with these two guys and working with Colin. Well, Colin has a lot of excuses for things, Colin's but these two guys. Excuses. Excuses. <laughs> Colin has yeah. lots of well, excuses. Back up. I don't know if I'll play Metal Gear Solid Five because I haven't played Metal Gear Solid. Bad <laughs> 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 slapped a beard off your face, you Long Island piece of shit. He's coming for you. I can feel it. He's uh, not here. He's coming. Y'all so talk so right much crap about me when I'm not on Colin and Greg. Oh, we talk <laughs> mad shit. We talk mad shit about you. Um, it's just fun. It's what we do. It's how we keep each other around. No, but 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 truly, there are no excuses anymore. For yeah. If you want to be a creator, if you want to go out there and make something in, in the digital sphere or realm, uh, you got no excuses, man, other than you're like just- Shia LaBeouf once said. I mean, it. as stupid as that video was, the messaging behind it, all those, again, stolen from Nike, because um, he steals everything from everyone. So oh, that's the joke. Shia, don't take it like well, that. Well, stop stealing people's work, Shia. Shots um, fired. <laughs> Good actor, though. <laughs> terrible movies. Um, what about the second Wall Street? He was good in that. No, what about he that was, second Transformers? That. <laughs> I was about I to say that. that. <laughs> actually, it's. It, I'm not gonna get into that. I think Amy I think he's Jones? a phenomenal actor, but um, but uh, his Steven? his sentiment behind that was very very true. It's like just th- stop talking about tomorrow. Do it today. Start today, and that's what we always tell people, right? When everyone's like, "How do I get into what you're doing? Like, how do I how do I eventually do what you guys are doing?" I'm like, "You don't even have to eventually do it." I, what you're what they're saying is how do I do it on the scale that you're doing it? Yeah. And the answer to that is always the same. It's the answer you always give, which is start doing it now yeah. and just be consistent and, and five, six years from now, if you're smart about how you're marketing your content and you're and you're thinking a little bit outside the box, mm-hmm. you can there's a possibility that you'll enjoy the success of the work. I think that and you know, coming from me saying all that, that's like the most ironic thing in the world because I am the opposite of that and I always have been, where I am Mr. Plan, I am Mr. Strategize, I want everything to be perfect and lined up. Well, I don't want to shoot this because I know that a better camera's coming right. next year, so I'm gonna wait for that. Right. I'm gonna get I know that a better camera's this, coming next year. But then year. I'm gonna do that. You know what I mean? It's yeah. like I for the first half of my life, that's to- more than that. It was just that's how I lived and that's how I did all my work. Now that got me where I am here, but I'm only here because of motherfuckers like Greg, who is the opposite of that. And yeah, Greg is 100%, 100%. do it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it now. I was doing it yesterday. So I'm just fucking doing shit. And I feel like with us, we kind of just meld that together. I feel like me and Greg are on the polar opposite ends of that spectrum. That's why you we hate each other. Know how to get shit done. And then Colin is, you know, is the shit that he's the voice of reason sometimes yeah yeah Yeah, that's a good way to to put it he's like should we be doing this and we're like uh and then greg's like well i'm gonna do it we're like well greg's gonna do it so we're gonna go yeah you gotta have that perfect balance between the two of like that planning and then the just doing you gotta uh i mean that's why i feel like me and me and jeremy the uh, my partner makes videos uh, with me on my channel uh uh, we do, you know, mm-hmm. he's, he's a uh, very analytic, but he's uh, also very in the moment. Mm-hmm. And I'm also a strategist and I like to plan everything out sure. to the T and, uh, and we, you know, we balance each other out just like, see, you guys seem to. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard <clears throat> because what Tim's talking about, I have both sides, right? Where at the end of the day, you, you do have to get shit done. And there's that old parlance that perfect is the enemy of the good where you just have to, you can't strive for, for perfection and you'll never, you'll never finish. Yeah. That's just the way it goes. Um, and that also, you know, I feel like that's that's another big kind of uh, uphill battle that we fight though all the time is that we we have to churn out content. We have to keep making content. And I would love to spend more time doing like bigger projects like that, but it's so hard to compete now. Um, and so in many ways, it's the the barrier to entry is zero to to making to doing mm-hmm. what we're doing and to, and to be having success on the internet. But with that zero barrier comes a wave of competition and a wave yeah. of people that. I feel like it's. I feel like the the, the time frame for uh, for trends and for um, for just the world in general is sped up. 
right? And so <clears> like <throat> every time I think I've got a grasp of what the zeitgeist is in, in, in online video, it's gone. You wake up the next day and some kid's got better hair and he's doing it out of a house and you're like, I don't understand. We're we got good hair. We're doing it out of a house too. It's like, oh, this kid's like 14 though, dog, and he's like British. And you're like, well, shit. Well, he wins. Then. <laughs> he that's totally wins. That's right? Right? He's got the uh, the um, tween tween girl community. Yeah, yeah. that's I mean, a big that's a big community. But that's the thing though. I think the competition isn't necessarily just the other people doing it, but it's the time too. And yeah. it's the the competition is the grass is always greener. Mm mentality that's well, true that's that's very true um, looking at him it's like i look at him i'm like i wish i was you i wish i was out there just making just cool videos yeah. you know what i mean like just working on big projects that you know the the goal is getting five hundred thousand views, views right. a million views whatever it is and every time right. you get that you just want more yeah yeah, you know? yeah because you were trying to do something fucking awesome that yeah, you yeah, love. yeah whereas what we're doing is a little is different than that you know yeah what I mean? absolutely like we, we do more stuff where it's more just it's our personalities, right? Which, and I love that too. I mean, you guys have one of the most awesome, loyal communities I've ever seen on the internet. Hey. Uh, I'm a part hey. of it, so mm. I mean, like that's that's how I see, that's how I know um, that from the other side as well. I mean, you just talk about me fanboying out at VidCon. I mean, uh, uh, you guys have have created this entire like uh, the beginning to what seems like an empire, and uh, and even if you guys don't see it, I feel like everybody else out there can. Uh, so I mean, like you guys got a splendid thing going right now, and you know I can't wait until you guys start turning out that type of content. I mean, so that's the cool thing, though, is it's like it's it is a just a timing thing of one yeah, day yeah, yeah. we will, you know, right? yeah, one day yeah, when yeah. we get there. And in the same way with you, you're doing your podcast sure, as well. Yeah. So it's like you're doing mm -hmm. your big tentpole content. So yeah, you have the absolutely. night Nightwing thing. You also do one minute matchups, which yep. is like the it's like, explain it. Uh, it's sort of like a. a Grab two characters, battle to the death in live action. The two episodes we have so far are Deadpool versus the Deadpool from uh, X Men Origins Wolverine, so <laughs> Weapon Eleven, and then uh, Green Arrow versus Hawkeye. And the third episode we're working on right now is uh, Flash versus Quicksilver. <laughs> and they're fucking awesome. No, the so in addition to that, you have the podcast. Mm -hmm. Yep. What's your uh, podcast? Hawk Talk. Uh, Hawk Talk, uh, where we talk about geek stuff, nerdy Hawks. stuff. Just talks. They're, yep. they're just talking about Hawks. That's, that's it. We so just, like, I really like the Falcon. Best. Have you I really like the Falcon. screech of a hawk? Is like. <laughs> That's it. Sorry. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a great podcast, so, probably. So yeah, um, I was enthralled. I wanted more Hulk. Yeah. But uh, what what the, the biggest like honor I remember is when you put out the first episode of Hawk Talk. Yeah. I looked at it. It looks exactly like this uh, show. Yeah, yeah. Like, have you guys seen? Yeah, like, I've seen it. It's hilarious. Like, it's they have this way more setup. people. No. There's four. Of you us. just put up a screenshot today with Jeremy screaming. That's way more than. Oh that. yeah, we usually have so, like fuck a. Fuck you, Tim. We have a, a fifth person actually quite often. Yeah. Four, uh, sometimes five. Four, sometimes. Well, I think theirs is five, sometimes four. All right. Well, the first episode was four people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sitting just like this <laughs> with lower thirds. Look, it was just like, and with with posters and stuff in the back, and it was just like, that's awesome. You yeah, know, yeah, we were talking yeah. about this earlier that it's it's about iterating and it's about seeing things you like. Oh, yeah. You're like, oh, they they nailed it. So it's like. The whole planning thing and the just doing it, that kind of combines it. It's like, well, that guy already planned. Yeah. So I'm just going to do that yeah. my way, right? right and then right. just keep going yeah, from yeah. there. And I, I think you guys are fucking nailing it. Thanks, man. My, I my, mean, what I find interesting is the fact that you both jump to the end. Like, how did the internet change your life from the beginning? Is I think the question is more fascinating from that. Like, you yeah. know, I never... I remember growing up feeling like, I think I'll be famous one day, but not knowing what that meant and not wanting TV or movies or anything like that, right? You just thought that? Yeah. Well, do you want to, how about you joke around about with Kevin some more off camera? Because that's really entertaining for them watching. You shut the fuck up and sit there. <laughs> to be shit. fair, Kevin, I wasn't turn off joking. his microphone. To be fair, I wasn't joking. Thank with you, Kevin. Kevin. Okay. Turn off. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. <laughs> But like, you know what I mean? Like, I remember I was going to be a writer. I was going to be this. I was never going to be on camera. And then even coming out here to work at IGN, it was that I was going to write, not do podcasts, not yeah, yeah. videos. So like for you, yeah. what did, where did you trace this all back for you in terms of like your project, you know, trajectory here? Uh, I, I, I remember it like it was yesterday, man. I remember the pivotal moment in my life where I was like, I know exactly what I want to do. And um, uh, I actually didn't find out. I'll, 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 I'm jumping ahead. Um, so... I was uh, like eight years old. We were watching a movie with my family, and my dad, uh, uh, it was something with Leonardo DiCaprio. And I turned to my dad and I'm like, Titanic. Dad, it might have been Titanic. Basketball I think Diaries. Growing Pains. The movie. It might have been Growing Pains. I freaking love that show. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what up, Ashley? Uh, yeah. Uh, but uh, I remember turning to him and be like, Dad, uh, it seems like it's so cool to be an actor. How much do they have to pay to be an actor? And my dad laughed at me, and he said, no, Danny, that's that's, a, that's our job. They um, actually get paid to do that. And I was like, they get paid to do that? They get paid to play pretend yeah, yeah. and to be famous? They get paid for that? And he's like, yeah, a lot of money. And I was like, <laughs> uh, that sounds like a dream. And and I was like, 
from then on, that's what I wanted. I mean, it's I found out later that my dad, he never really uh, told us about this, but he actually went to school for acting. He went oh, wow. to school with uh, Mark Hamill. And, really? Uh, Heard yeah. of him? <laughs> yeah, that he's just this, I don't know, he might have played Luke Skywalker. Trickster, trickster on The Flash, his yeah. biggest role. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, the trickster. Uh, and he... <laughs> Uh, he kind of like stops because he had he looks a lot more Middle Eastern than I do, and the industry just wasn't ready. It wasn't ready, and uh, the only roles he was getting are terrorists or uh, mm-hmm. or uh, any like garbage like that. And uh, and uh, the internet and and YouTube has allowed me to uh, all I wanted since I was uh, since I was that age is to be a superhero. And <laughs> you know nobody was putting me making me a superhero right right right, right that right. wasn't happening on its own and uh and the the beautiful thing is i was like hey friends um i want to make a superhero video and i want to play the superhero you guys down with that and people were like yeah totally let's do it and uh and i, I mean that wasn't possible before now right it wasn't possible at all and like this is that was that project is a dream come true and the fact pa- fact that people see me as a superhero is a dream come true and uh and well, not it's, only that but people give you thousands of dollars to be that superhero yeah right? like i mean yeah going on there and asking for backing and asking for people's help and people actually coming through for that is yeah is cool and that's that's one of the things that i i i just can't i'm, I'm blindsided by every day you just wake up and the support that people give the sort of blind faith support of like it's not even that it's not even a matter of like whether or not they like your content yeah that's almost secondary yeah it's I like what you're doing. I don't have this like the, my circumstances for one reason or another don't allow me to do that. Yeah. So I'm gonna help you do it. I'm yeah. gonna help you achieve your goal, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch this process. And to be honest, I think a lot of people, myself included, almost derive more entertainment from watching the process than the end product. Oh yeah. If that makes sense. And that yeah. and like in your case specifically, like it's been really awesome watching you do all these things. Um, and then oh it's out I'm like oh shit I gotta remember to watch that but like just following you yeah, doing all this yeah. stuff it's just been kind of fun because for man. me it's the the creator's journey is a lot more uh, it's just I think a lot more fun often more often than not the journey is always uh, always the most exciting part you know? it is that's true you wake up one day and you realize that you made your you made your dream come true and you're like holy crap man this was you know we we fought for this mm-hmm. we uh, you know uh, bled sweat cried for mm-hmm. this and uh, and it's finally starting to come to fruition and that's that's super cool yeah, yeah. and. Uh, I mean, you guys, you guys have your entire platform is is again being funded by Patreon, which is this relatively new thing. Crowdfunding in general has completely changed the game for people like us. Mm-hmm. Nightwing yeah. wouldn't have been possible without Kickstarter. Would kind of funny have been possible without Patreon? Not on this level. Not like no. this. That's what we yeah. talked I mean, about. Right? It's, it's the anniversary us. today of yeah. the fact that we launched that first Patreon, and when we launched it, you know, I tweeted today, like mm-hmm. in the first twenty four hours, everybody proved that we could go off and do this because we had been kicking around forever of like. When do we leave? What do we do? You know, and it went over that summer where it was like, ah, uh, maybe we'll give it another year, year and a half. And yeah. then we did that Patreon. I was like, wait, people are willing to give us this much money knowing that we have great jobs. Yeah. Like, what if we only did this? Like, yeah. what yeah, do we yeah. have to do? To make the crowdfunding stuff, man, in general, like, it's it's such a, a revolutionary thing, not just for the internet, but I think for entertainment in general. But even taking that like way, way back to the beginning of my experiences with the internet, I think the internet has completely formed the person that I am. Oh, yeah. Like, whether, like, all my tastes in everything and just, like, my moral beliefs, how I view things, my understanding of everything, whether it's the movie I just watched or um, the the conversation I just had, you can always find out more and you can just Google things, yeah. you know? And, like, figuring out, um, like, looking at reading forums and downloading music, like Napster. I think Napster is single-handedly, like, the most important thing that ever happened to me because it allowed me to... Search for my own things that I liked. I could search for anything I wanted, yeah. things would come up, and I could download it and decide if I liked it or not. And it wasn't because TRL was telling me it, it's because I was deciding. Sure. Yeah. And that now, power, to be fair, did you go to TRL also and just be like, let's let's just let's compare and contrast? No, because I mean I'm joking. Right? Well, I'm well at that point in my life, like when Napster was there, it was like way more I was searching for a lot of video game stuff. Yeah. Like I was like, I like video games. I'm gonna see what's up. And then there I'd listen to video game music. I'm like, I actually really enjoy this. Yeah. And then it's just you start learning about yourself through this weird discovery platform. And then you take that and it's like, oh, wait, off of Napster, I can Google things. And then yeah. YouTube started. And then it's like, how do I tie a tie? I know how to do that now because I can just you, – I don't know how to do that. Spoilers. But I know how I can figure that out. <laughs> you could if you want. If yes. I wanted to learn to tie a tie. I could go to, to <laughs> YouTube and do that. But yeah. it just kind of kept – <laughs> Right? It, it kept going, going and going and going from there. And it's like I'll watch – 
a movie, right? Like yeah. this this weekend we went and watched The Visit. Yeah. And I really liked it. And it's like when you watch a movie, did you guys watch it? No, we're, we, oh, have okay. we have a mandate because we weren't invited on your mandate. Good. You you totally were. Sean Finnegan. Finnegan's birthday thing. Oh, the thing that I was told to go me. to this bar at two in the morning? Yeah, bro. That well, you went and watched the movie at three in the morning? No. No, we the next day. No, they were anyway. Oh, it wasn't even the day I was invited. <laughs> okay. No, you weren't invited. To I didn't realize it was a sleepover the from the bar, it's slumber party, started. wake up, Sean's mom made you eggs and bacon. She's really good at cooking. I know. <laughs> She's a doctor. Yeah. Doctor so, of cooking. <laughs> we watched this movie, and my first thought when I got home is, I want more. I want to know more about this universe. I want to know what other people's thoughts are. Go on forums and start just reading what people thought about mm-hmm. it. And like, kind of funny.com slash forums? No, no one was talking about it there. I did All look. Right. I did look. To Thanks see for making the there. topic. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, so just reading about this stuff, it gives you a deeper understanding. And then I started realizing I like thinking about movies this way, mm-hmm. you know? And so that made me think about making movies. Or not yeah. movies, but like, you know, videos. What's stuff. been sure. weird about the whole thing is how seamless the transition I feel was. That there never was a weird thing of me, like, you know, when I was growing up, I was going to write for EGM. And then when EGM kind of became one up and one up kind of became EGM and that was weird, there was no like, oh, now I'm going to write for a website. It all happened so gradually and naturally that by the time I was writing for IGN, then I, I, it was never I'm going to make a podcast for IGN or a video for it. That just was part of the job, part of the job until we get to this point now where I go back and talk at the University of Missouri classroom and I'm like, well, I don't write anymore. I'm not really a journalist anymore. And it all happened so gradually I didn't even notice. You know, yeah. I just talk I just talk about video games mm-hmm. now. It's weird. It is. I mean, and that's the thing. It's like you say it, it just happened so gradually you didn't even notice. And I feel like that's so true when it comes to any of this stuff. Like in, even just thinking of internet video, where it's at now compared to where it was. Oh, yeah. Seeing you make these videos, it's like if that if your Nightwing video or any of your one-minute matchup videos came out in 2009, yeah. that would have been Mind blowing to the point of like I can't believe this is even a thing because that's what Freddie Wong was. Yeah, yeah, you know? no, Freddie they Wong changed the out game. Simple videos, and it's like now you look at it and like explosions and all, gunshots and all this yeah. stuff in videos is kind of just like all right, oh uh, normal. That's yeah, normal we to be can in a video. normally have yeah. that. You know, like Nick freaking in that Super Bowl video we did, Portillo like poofs away and like becomes a, a hot dog, whatever. <laughs> it's like. If, like, to be fair, that was a really simple effect. No, <laughs> but still, like, yeah, that, that's, but that's back my in point, 2002, though. that wouldn't have been insane. No, 2002, simple. it would have yeah. been insane. But even 2009, like, Freddie Wong's first things were just simple effects and videos. You know, the portal, yeah. portal gun video is what really oh, yeah. blew him up. And that was just uh, the portal effect. That's, like, very mm. simple. Yeah. But, yeah, but then it was revolutionary. And so now it's just, it's really crazy to yeah. see how fast that all imploded. Oh, yeah. DSLRs, changing shit, oh, yeah. iPhones. Yeah. Like, yeah. just HD video. I remember, it wasn't even that long ago, 2009, having a camera that could record in 1080 was insane, like a camcorder. Mm-hmm. And, like, the difference between a widescreen, like, not even, let's not even talk about 1080, just widescreen. Yeah. yeah. You know? That put you in a different class than everyone else on YouTube. Oh, yeah. And then, I feel like YouTube from 2005 to 2009 was so slow compared to 2009 to now. Oh, yeah. Oh, it definitely was. was. You it know? definitely was, yeah. And, like, that's kind of everything. I mean, really, it was it was up until the point where Google bought them and decided, hey, we're going to influx a, a tremendous amount of cash into this company. But even then, it took years. Yeah. It took like two or three years, maybe even four years to get the server infrastructure set up across the world. Because, I mean, you don't understand. You don't think about it. But think about how, like, YouTube has to have servers, like clusters that copy over the content in like every like, – I forget what the actual distance is. But it's it's a lot closer than you think it has to have. So they have, they have server clusters – Everywhere. And when you upload a piece of content, it keeps uploading to all those servers across the world. So when someone in like Australia decides to watch your oh. video, they get a local server, not the one that was uploaded to in California yeah. or in, in Vegas in your case. Isn't yeah. that, I mean, all of that stuff took forever. And I remember thinking, I remember reading that article, I think it was back in like, I want to say 2012, maybe, where it was like YouTube's profitable for the first time ever. And you're like, what? That doesn't I mean, make that's, any well, sense. what's crazy is to think but, about now, but people weren't getting paid on YouTube no, until they 2008. Well, they weren't really serving ads. They weren't really like doing, they were serving ads, but they weren't, they hadn't figured out or rather caught up to that tremendous amount of money that had to, they had to put into the money until recently, very recently. And now they're in the black, probably incredibly deeply. Um, deep, deep, deep in the deep black. Deep in that black, yeah. Um, Balls deep in the black. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, that's that's the crazy thing. is, it, 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 As much as I'm excited about the future, and it's 90%, there's 10% of me that looks back and says, because I used to, I've done motion graphic stuff forever, mm-hmm. and when I watched Freddie Wong's video, I was like, oh, I know how to do all that stuff. Yeah. And it never I occurred to wanna. me. Well, no, I could I could have done all of it. I literally knew how to motion track. I knew how to do all that stuff, and I had done it on a freelance basis. And to me, it wasn't I was I wasn't wowed by it because I was like, right. oh, I kind of know how to do all this stuff. And then it didn't occur to me 
that I should just start yeah, doing it. But that's you know? hindsight 2020. I know, you know, I, I was know, talking about so it when I was working at the Trib, and I, I had the blog for them about video games where I took my little my little digital camera out and recorded the first the people in line for their Wii's at Best or their PS3s at Best Buy, and then people at GameStop in line for their Wii, and then the line inside Walmart, and then interviewing the guy on the way out of Walmart with his first PS3. And like that video, I forget, blew up and got uh, blew up in quotes, you know, whatever, a couple hundred thousand views, right? And I was like, oh, that's cute, that's cool, and never nope. even thought, yeah, of like, no. why don't I keep doing video yeah. game videos and turn it around and talk about, you know, what I mean, I mean, that's like, the the crazy. Like, so I did the Mario video, and millions, literally millions of views, and I was yeah. just like, oh my god, and I that, I did have that thought of I need to do something with this, yeah. and then I'll never forget this, like I Philip DeFranco doing his thing every day, just talking about mm -hmm. the news, and that's that's it. He just talked about the news. And, like, it's so much more polished now than it used to be. Oh, sure. Yeah. Back then, no editing, him just talking to a camera. And, like, I remember talking to Kevin and being like, I should just talk about video game stuff every day. Like, I should just talk about the news and video games every day. And Kevin this was, was like, like, no way, no, man. No, he, was like, he was like, do it, just do it, just do it. And this goes back to what we were saying earlier. Yeah. I was like, well, we need to wait. Like, I want to make sure I'm doing it right oh, and this and that. And it's like, you I timmed it. Just, you timmed I timmed it. it. I totally timmed it. But that's just crazy, you know. And but hindsight is twenty twenty. It's yeah, like, it's, and you can't. I mean, it all worked out pretty well for us. Yeah, but there yeah is I'm that not thing complaining of like, at all. Every yeah. time I look at Justine, she's like, "Oh, hey, here's a million dollars. I'm not going to give you, Greg." I'm like, "Fuck, I could have that million dollars. <laughs> Why didn't I dance around the fucking NGP or something?" <laughs> <laughs> NGP. Speaking of uh, of Freddie and Brandon, uh, they actually. I was graduating college in 2012, and uh, I was talking to my brother, and he was he was grilling me. Uh, about like, what are you going to do with your life? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Uh, you're going to graduate. You're going to move to L.A.? You're going to pursue your dream? What are you going to do? And uh, and there was that moment where I was like, I have no clue. Am I going to go to L.A.? Am I going to fail? Am I going to be like, you know, those that person who comes back with my tail between my legs? And uh, I remember watching some of uh, Freddie Wong, Brandon uh, Lotch's uh, videos, and I was like, this is it. It was like a, a eureka mm -hmm. moment for me. And I was like, you know, I've, I've learned how to do this stuff. Uh, I I think I could do something like this. I, it's gonna take a lot of work, but like I this is this is a new outlet. This is the new way. They're right. they're they're laying down the groundwork for everyone right. like me. And uh, and uh, someone said something uh, earlier about like competition. I personally don't believe there is any competition on the internet. It doesn't matter who comes out with what first. Uh, you're not paying for any of this content. It's free. You're paying with with your time. And people can tell in the first 15 seconds if your stuff's going to be good or not before they shut it off. You know, like, that's the I mean, statistic. When you showed us the trailer, like, yeah, that's yeah. what that was. Yeah, right. thank God. We caught your attention. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. To, I'm sorry. Continue the thought. Um, but, uh, I mean, that, that's basically it. I mean, people, people you got to catch their uh, attention instantly. And if you do that, then you earn their time. Right. And, uh, and there is no true competition. Uh, well, see, I would disagree just a little bit with that. Okay. All right. right. Now, I, I don't believe there's competition in in that. I don't think we are competing with you, right? Mm. I think it behooves us to to obviously have you on our show and to collaborate with you and to eventually uh, take part as a uh, uh, cameos, like you've been promising us. That's oh, why yeah. I keep getting naked it'll, for it'll you. It'll happen. You get naked for him, and he's always like, "Yeah, just you know, yeah, you need one of these five days. more pounds." Yeah, five more pounds. <laughs> um, but, <laughs> But you are competing for people's attention, and, oh, that, yeah, and that's where it comes from. Is like now that you know Facebook video is a thing, and Snapchat is a thing, and all these other social media outlets are a thing. Yeah, um, you, you're the window where you can where you can actually like get in front of people is is very very narrow now. Mm -hmm. and you and like you're saying that 15 seconds, it's almost not even 15. It's like a second now. You have to grab people on Facebook video. In the time it takes them to to like for that little the scroll to kind of slow for a second and then have them their finger go from the top of the screen back to the bottom to keep scrolling. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't have any. It has to just pop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the only way I can think to do it is with thumbnails that look that have two really good looking people having sex. So it's that's really why good. And it should works. watch Love and Sex stuff Mondays, not AM. Not AM. Yeah. <laughs> no, but I I disagree with that. I don't think it's competition. I feel like it's. If you know what you're doing, it's not competition because you have the people that are watching your shit. Yeah, like, sure. At that you're point, you, your you've already won. So it's like, yeah, but uh, what you know what I'm saying is like, if we did what we're doing now five years ago, we would be fucking huge by now. Now I'm not saying we're not big, and I think we're growing at a very steadily pace. But there's so much more noise out there. But I don't think saying. that that noise is holding us back from no, getting anywhere. No, so that's why it's like I don't think it's competition. But it's, but it's slower than it would have been, right? And you talk about Freddie, but how many people do better videos than Freddie right now? No, that don't have fucking curse your mouth. We love you, Freddie. Pickle Bros for well, life. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, really, you slow it down. I'm just saying, you, you and Kevin you need to get you off can't, the fucking speed. You okay? can't insult Freddie like that. Kevin does need to get off the speed. 
<laughs> also, <laughs> you've, been, you've been making a lot of cracks and making eyes at Nick again. I will buy a fucking tarp and hang it where you'll be locked off if that's what you want. It's true. Um, no, on some degree, on, on some level, though, there are people out there that are incredibly talented and they just can't get the exposure. You're because, talking about competing for time. Yeah. Not even, like, not even that like, our podcast is competing against other podcasts. Our, we're just competing for time There's against 24 hours in Stephen the day. Colbert and talking to your mother and, and making Metal Gear a Solid 5 and, and just your life. Yeah, but I mean, th- and yeah. think of that's a perfect example, right? Like, look at the guy, the, you know, uh, Jimmy Fallon's got the number one. Uh, talk show, nightly talk show, whatever the hell they call it, late show, excuse me, yeah. on, on TV right now, but he's crushing it online because he's got all those resources and he's putting them online. Right? And Mike and, Drucker. And that, he does have Mike Drucker. Um, and now Colbert's in there. And so so, so the, the playing field where it used to be like, oh, those cute kids on the internet are doing their thing again. Now everyone wants a piece of that pie. So there's that, con- we've hit that convergent point where everyone realizes that Facebook, YouTube, Vine, well, not Vine, but Snapchat, all oh, of these Vine. things are, Vine, yeah. are, yeah, I guess fine, but they're all super important. And sure. so where I feel like six years ago, just people, it wasn't like a cool thing to do. People just like, oh, this is cool. I'm going to, this is fun. I'm going to just interact with it. Oh, I just blew up. Now people are strategizing about it. They got to like, oh, you're late night with Jimmy Fallon. Well, you got a whole team of people that just do Snapchat. You got a whole team of people that just do YouTube, team of people that just do Vine, right? And like, we're five dudes. Yeah, like, but I mean, th- I think this goes back to my Napster thing. It's like the shit that I was searching for wasn't competing with the TRL stuff. That TRL stuff was going to do is m- – the people that are looking for that are going to look for that. The people that are looking for obscure fucking video game remixes are looking for that, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. But like the people's time we – we're not even – it's not even so much us competing as much as them competing with themselves of what they're deciding to, to do. Mm-hmm. Right. It, it factors in. It factors in. Um, but either way, I mean, I'd rather live now than – like I'm, I'm so like I, I'm not one person that likes to look at like, hindsight being twenty four. I do look back and think, oh, it would have been great. And then, but having said that, I think we're really well off right now. Yeah. And I think the tools that are available to us, we are availing ourselves of a hundred percent, and that's what makes me happy. Is that no matter what, we are still doing the absolute best we can every day we wake up, and it's working. You know, I wish, of course, you always wish you're like, I wish we'd get those multipliers. Or I wish we had a million subscribers on Kind of Funny right now, and everything we were doing did like. Epic mealtime numbers, or you know, you, epic rap battles of history numbers, things, things like that. But it's a different ball game, you know. It's, it's just a different landscape out there. I want to anyway. say apology, and I say fuck you, apology for different reasons on Twitch. But I was caught off so guard in there. Yeah, nice Peter. That's who it was. Oh, okay, yeah. This is a, this is a joke just for the Colin and Greg live audience. Got it. So <laughs> you, I understand that you two. I was get very it. confused. I haven't watched that. Show I like how you say this. Morning. I know you're joking, but like you expect us. You guys are in here. You expect us to be out there watching, watching the, show. the show. Would it kill you to put it on the Xbox? To have us on the big screen? Yes, give it us would. View. To get the freaking delay of oh. Twitch delay plus you guys you just talking. Mute it and don't you get involved? It would kill the don't you get? Involved. Oh, and the internet. But if we That's mute it, then we can't hear That's it. That's a lie. I'm watching. That's a lie. Yeah, he always has all his goddamn headphones, and it's the most annoying thing in the goddamn world. You're all bunch of you jerks. We hate each other. Except Danny. Danny's a nice guy. Yeah, you came in on like the the hatred day. We yeah. have like one hatred day a month. Yeah, Today is that. All right, dude. I'm excited. To... Did I miss other stuff? Are you guys mad at me? Well, no, you're mad at all. Of you're us, you're right? part of it. You're pissed no. off at us. Yeah, yes. even this morning you were mad at me, and I was I literally was like this. Hey, I'm gonna start pulling some movie stories, and you were like, oh, well. So I mean, it's the worst time to talk about entertainment. Period. Did you not see all the play- Did you sure. not see all the PlayStation? We did stories forty this minutes on PlayStation. I was one, like forty uh, on one okay. story. I'm just trying to be helpful. But God forbid you fucking look at what's happening on the your world. Mm, I don't care about the world. <laughs> I just want to watch it burn. I just want to watch it burn. Everybody subscribe to Danny. Thank it's you. Mahawk. Yes. So I mean, the short answer, I guess, is that the internet's completely changed our lives, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Follow me on the Twitter. Do that as well. At Danny, at Danny underscore Shepherd. No, right? no, that's no, not it. No. Don't confuse Danny them. La Shep. La Shep. Yeah, Danny La Shep. Because La means the. Yeah, yeah. And Shep I get it. Means shepherd. Giant penis. Yes. Jesus Christ. Yeah.